Hello friends. Welcome to today's lesson. Today, we are going to talk about something very important in the world of computers. Something that makes it possible for us to use a computer and get results from it. Our topic is input and output devices. Let us begin with input devices. An input device is any tool or equipment that allows us, the users, to give instructions to the computer. Imagine you want to tell the computer what to do. You cannot just speak to it directly with no tools. The computer needs a way to receive your commands. That is exactly the role of input devices. Think about the keyboard, which lets you type letters, numbers, and symbols. With it, you can write messages, create documents, or enter information into a game. Then imagine the mouse, which allows you to move the pointer on the screen, click, drag, and interact with programs and images. Without a mouse, moving around the computer would be very difficult. Another good example is the microphone, which allows us to talk and have the computer listen, whether for recording our voice, using voice commands, or speaking in online meetings. In short, input devices act as our hands and our voice. They make it possible for us to communicate with the computer in ways that it can understand. Now let us move on to output devices. While input devices help us send information to the computer, output devices do the opposite. They are the tools that the computer uses to send information back to us. After we give a command or instruction, the computer processes it and then shows us the result through output devices. The monitor, for example, is the screen where we can see everything the computer is doing. It displays text, images, videos, and even animations. The speakers are another important example, since they let the computer produce sound, music, or even voices, making it possible for us to listen and enjoy audio. And then we have the printer, which takes the digital information from the computer and produces a physical copy on paper, whether it is a text document, a photo, or a diagram. In this way, Output devices are like the mouth and the eyes of the computer because they are the way the computer communicates with us and shows us the results of our actions. So, to make it simple, input devices are what we use to talk to the computer, while output devices are what the computer uses to talk back to us. Both are essential because without input devices, the computer would not know what we want, and without output devices, we would never know what the computer is doing. That is all for today's lesson. Now you know that input devices allow us to give instructions to the computer, and output devices allow the computer to give information back to us. Thank you so much for watching, my dear friends. I hope you enjoyed learning with us today. Remember, every day you learn something new, you grow smarter and stronger. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends. And subscribe to our channel so you never miss another exciting story or lesson. See you very soon in the next video, and keep learning, keep shining.